All right, we're back live inside Albertson Stadium on the blue. And like I said before the break, it might feel like football season, but it is also baseball season. Gary Van Tall, the manager or head coach, I guess you could say, of the Boise State baseball team joins us now. And uh, you pointed it out. It feels like baseball weather. No, it's beautiful. I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm keeping my fingers crossed that February 28th, it's going to feel just like this. So uh, we'll see what happens. I know that you're, you've are you been as antsy as anybody to kick this off. For the last two years, Will and I, when we talk about it on air, we really don't have any tangible video to show Bronco Nation. But guess what? This week, take a look. We do. You guys aren't only practicing right now, but your fall classic is underway. One team's down, three games to none, so maybe there's going to be some wheeling and dealing to even out the series. But how much fun are you guys having out at Memorial Stadium right now? Uh, it's It's been a blast, and just to uh, be able to move everything out there last week and set up shop, and uh, we finally have a home. Our guys are jacked up and uh, can't wait to just keep this thing going. It's a 45-day window that we have in the fall. It's kind of like spring training, but fall training. Right. and. Uh, we want to get a good read, good gauge on our guys, get them acclimated, and just kind of let them have an opportunity to show us what they can do. Gary, this experience in the fall, how important is it moving forward for the rest of the season? No, it's critical. Yeah. And uh, with the NCAA uh, restrictions uh, that you have, the, the amount of time you can be with your players, you got to make the most of every minute, and uh, we're doing that this fall. And that's why, you know, to begin with uh, our fall program, we're playing this Bronco Blue and Orange World Series to just give these guys a chance to compete and show us what they can do. And then we'll evaluate them and go into the winter and really start individualizing their program. You know, one thing that I find so fascinating about your program, you have an extensive background in professional baseball. You're the manager of the Boise Hawks there for a while. Um, and it seems like you are taking what you believe is the, the greater aspects of that game and now implementing it on your program, especially with your pitchers for that matter. Yeah, I think uh, it all comes down to pitching and yeah. obviously keeping your guys as healthy as you can. And, you know, I think when we get things going and we start them up, we want to keep the engine running as long as we can through the season into the summer and into the fall. And that's why we're starting to play right away because they've all been pitching in the summer. So we didn't want to shut them down and give them a month to build themselves back up. Yeah. We just wanted to keep them hot. We'll shut them down after the first weekend in October and they'll have a normal pro winter to just, you know, recover, rest, and then we'll build them up in time for the college season. I mean, when you're dealing with guys that are growing and developing, it's better to keep them like this than it is like this. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I find that fascinating. Gary, we haven't played an official game yet, but you've been able to have experience with practice, workouts, and some fall experience now. What do you like most about your roster? You know, I think just the uh, the energy and the, the makeup of our guys. You know, I had uh, 20 months to put this roster together, and. Uh, we were really looking for our kind of guy, and uh, Coach Pete said it uh, all the time, OKGs. Okay, That's what we're looking for, and so uh, no different than uh, what we see behind us. Uh, that blue collared mentality and that's what uh, Boise State was built on and we want to keep that going the expectations are set high and we know what we signed up for and um, you know I just think the makeup of our our culture and having those 12 guys on campus last year the dirty dozen has put us ahead of schedule with 20 new players coming in this fall with those 12 guys one thing we, we want to uh, leave you with is the fact that uh, there's still a few more games to go in, in the blue and orange world series and fans are encouraged to go out so when is what are the uh, what's the rest of the schedule look like and when can fans show up and, and partake in this a little bit well on Sunday's first pitch is at 3 30 in the afternoon and then if there's a football game on Saturday we'll play Friday night at 7 o'clock okay if there's a football game Friday night we'll play Saturday night at 7 o'clock okay and then Tuesday afternoons we'll also play a midweek game and that'll be a three o'clock start all right so there you have it tomorrow yep you can go out going out going out to Memorial City watch a little bit of baseball and then since there is a Friday game next week, Saturday. Gary, yes. we appreciate it. We can feel the energy, the excitement. By the way, you guys look good, too. I mean, you guys finally got, got some uniforms out there. The practice leads, it's all very sharp. I know. We're excited. Yeah. Appreciate the opportunity. Great to see you guys. Thanks, yeah. Gary. All right, stick around. We